If we just come to the number of villages that you have in India, something like 600,000 yes, villages. Yes. Uh, so our interest in particular is how some of those uh, villages might change by introducing qualities of life into the villages that would help people to stay there and have a more fulfilling life than they have at the present time. And that's one of the ideas be behind smart villages. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, could have an effect on how they do their farming. Yes. In fact, uh, when I was in the Ministry of uh, New and Renewable Energy, we had, a, we had made a calculation and we had estimated that 18,000 villages uh, are not likely to get grid in the, in the foreseeable future. So those 18,000 villages have been now given to the Ministry of Renewable Energy for uh, electrification through mm. renewable sources. Ah, so I we see. are working on mm. that mm. with the aim of electrifying all the villages by the year 2020. That's a very interesting initiative because our work in the project that we're involved in with smart villages is looking at the situation both in African countries, in Southeast Asia and here in South Asia, and also Central America and South America, because we're interested in the comparative aspect of this. We're learning so much from the different countries, and we also try to make sure that whenever we have one of our workshops, as of which this is one, and we've now had over 20, there are people from other countries, because there's always learning across yes, country yes. in this sort of area. No, in fact, uh, as I mentioned in my uh, presentation, you know, 80% of our uh, rural energy still comes from biomass, which is, and I was seeing the figures for Africa also, many of the countries are up to 90% mm -hmm. also, they're mm -hmm. depending on biomass. Mm -hmm. And uh, the climatic regions being, you know, those at least around the tropics would be something which is very relevant uh, mm -hmm. uh, to Africa also from the Indian experience. Yes. So biomass, uh, I'm sure, is a, an area where we can coordinate. And uh, similarly also solar. You know, we have a, a huge amount of mm. uh, sunshine, so also Africa. So our trials, our, uh, you know, successes, our failures, there's a great scope of interchange mm. with Africa. I'm not so well aware of the South uh, American uh, position, but Thailand, uh, we used to train people from Thailand and Indonesia in many of our renewable energy institutions. Mm. We had started a program. Mm. Unfortunately, that was discontinued. Mm. But uh, the International Solar Alliance is meant specifically to target that mm -hmm. uh, audience. We'll get all the people together and there'll be an exchange of uh -huh. experiences. Yes. Well, thank you very much. That, that's fascinating. And we could talk for much longer because this is such an important area and an actively developing one, of course. Yeah. So thank you very thank much. Thank you very much I really, indeed. I really enjoyed being here and uh, meeting your whole team. And we hope to see you again. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.